It's a giant leap for a country 80% of whose military hardware is of foreign origin. India on Saturday attempted to put itself on the path of self-reliance by beginning the assembly of a 40,000-ton indigenous aircraft carrier at Kochi. So what's the big deal about this indigenous aircraft carrier which will be built here in these docks? Well, this will herald the arrival of India as an expeditionary power capable of launching airstrikes 8,000 nautical miles away from its shores. And all this muscle will be Swadeshi. Over the next 10 to 12 years, we hope to place orders for something like 60 more platforms. India's very own carrier will be a floating airstrip, 260 meters long, 60 meters wide and as high as a 14-story building. From its two takeoff runways, it will be able to launch as many as 30 aircraft on the high seas, including MiG-29K fighters and the light combat aircraft. Its four gas turbines will produce 80 megawatts of power, enough to light up a small city. It will need a crew of 1,600 and is expected to eventually cost about $3 billion before it's handed over to the Navy in 2014. Over 875 of these blocks have to be welded together to make up India's first indigenous carrier. Ahead of the poles, putting his stamp on this carrier on his home turf is Antony's last hooray as defense minister. Six years down the line, India's first indigenous aircraft carrier is going to be a metaphor for national capability. It is going to be perhaps the biggest brand ambassador for the Made in India tag. With camera person Praveen P.S. from Kochi, this is Vishal Thapar.